For Georgia pecan producers, maintaining a healthy orchard is vital in keeping the quality and the quantity of pecans high. New research is being conducted at the University of Georgia's Tifton campus that may change some of the techniques normally used in Georgia pecan orchards. The Monitor's Mark Wildman has that story. Due to its internal makeup, a pecan tree naturally makes a big crop only every other year. This means that some years are better or worse than others for pecan growers. This on-off cycle, or what is called alternate bearing, is something Georgia growers have dealt with since the nut was commercially introduced in the state in the 1920s. And that alternate bearing is controlled by plant hormones within the tree. Uh, when there are a lot of nuts on the tree, those nuts will stimulate hormones to be produced that would cause next year's buds to be vegetative, which means they would not have any fruit. But a new technique can stabilize production and help make each year a good year. Pecan harvest in Georgia starts in late October. To gather nuts, growers typically use a machine that grabs the tree trunk and vibrates it, shaking the nuts from its canopy to the ground below, where they are later scooped up. The same technique can be used earlier in the season to remove some of the immature nuts, thinning the crop load during an on year. By shaking pecans off the tree, uh, you help promote fruiting for the next year. When you have a real heavy crop load, a lot of nuts on the tree, there's going to be more stimulation by that tree to produce plant hormones that would cause next year's buds to be vegetative and not produce fruit. By shaking nuts off the tree, you would minimize uh, the amounts of those hormones that are produced, which would help the tree to come back the following year with a better crop. We have a study that was conducted over a couple of years on uh, Cape Fear and Sumner pecans that showed you basically doubled the amount of money you made off those trees uh, over a two year period when you do use mechanical fruit thinning. The thinning technique is simple in theory, but does take skill and timely efforts. There are several things to be concerned about when you're fruit thinning pecans. The first thing, you don't want to thin too many off the tree. Uh, most of the time that won't be the case, especially when someone is just starting out. Most of the time the main mistake that's made is growers don't take enough pecans off the trees when they first start to thin. But you can also damage the bark of the tree uh, when you're fruit thinning. If you don't lubricate the pads on the shaker properly, you can damage the bark, which could uh, do some long-term damage to the tree. The time to thin nuts will vary with cultivar and location, but for most varieties grown in Georgia, the time will be July through early August. Reporting for the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Mark Wildman.